Hey guys, this is Odron Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today we are on Drew Dunks' account. Thank you, Drew, for letting me borrow your account. And we are going to showcase uh, another one of the crazy, crazy unkillables, which is... Uh, uh, I think this was actually, if I'm not mistaken, this was the world record damage for an unkillable. So not the world record of, of clan boss damage, because that's, you know, the Victor Test Smollett reverse damages that go to 1 billion. But for an unkillable, this is, I think, from what I've seen, this was the best damage. And that is the Myth Buster using Turval as a DPS. So uh, I've built this for Drew uh, on stream on Friday and I said, OK, let me see how how good this can actually be because I have done this for uh, I've done I have done this team for a different account but in that one I used ninja as a DPS and having ninja as a DPS some things had to be changed and that was the fact that I had to swap the speeds around between ninja and cardial and because of that I couldn't build everybody else with 70% crit rate but now for this one with Torvald I could I could build it that way so the way that I'm going to do it is I'm gonna first show you the presets uh or actually should I show the run and you know what let me just show the run I'm gonna show the run and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna show the presets we're gonna discuss the builds and explain why uh how how this this team actually works so see you in a bit guys And we are back guys look at this insane damage i mean honestly this is why the this team can be you know can become the world record one because it actually does double the damage that you need to one key for the top chest on ultra nightmare i mean look at this 164.24 damage that's insane 24 million sorry that's insane damage cardinal putting 26 million turvold 70.8 million so basically turvold did all the damage you need to do with one key nightmare clan boss on his own then we have demethite 13 million obviously we don't expect demethite to do that much that much damage because she only attacks like once every uh every turn then we have Seeker with 29 million damage and Lydia with 24.5. So pretty, pretty solid damage from everybody. It's, you know, it's an it's, uh, it's a crazy, crazy team and insane thing. Before I show you the presets, let me show you something. Or actually, you know what? Let me just, uh, yeah, let me just show you something. So this is the, the key that I've done today. And this is the key that I have done on stream when I built this team. 151.58. This was on Spirit. So basically on strong affinity this the spirit was the best that we could get and we did 151.58 the difference between this key wait the difference between this one the 151 and 158 and this one is actually the 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 presets so let me show you what i mean by that let's close this one let's close this one as well and let's have a look at the presets while we are at it 
So the presets that we have changed here are pretty, pretty simple. And that was just this. Forcing Torvald to use A3 as priority and then A2 as a, as a second priority. The reason why this is so important is because one, every time he uses his A2, he gets an extra turn, therefore coming back to his A3. That means that every single turn after the, the clan boss takes his turn and Torvald go, goes first, he will use his A3. Otherwise, he will not use the A2 a lot of the times because of the increased crit rate, I think, if I'm not mistaken. If he has the increased crit rate from Cardial or one of the buffs, he's not going to use his A2. That's what I've seen on the on the, on the the run we've done on, on Friday. He didn't do this like very often. So just force them to do Juggernaut as priority and then this one's second priority. And look, we got uh, almost 50 million more damage, which is huge. When you're going for crazy numbers like this, you want to min max the shit out of it to get the best damage. I'm not sure I glyphed everything for damage for people, but you know, it's, it does insane damage. So when it comes to uh, to the rotation, I, I don't know if, if you've noticed, there's only one thing that you need to do apart from the presets that I will show you, and that is Cardiel to do A1 first, then A3, and that's it. So you only need to do A1 and A3 with Cardiel, and then it's full auto on all affinities, all difficulties. Obviously, it's like you know, it's it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit bad that you, you cannot full auto. But honestly, for this crazy damage, I'm happy to just you know, 30 seconds do A1, A3, and that's it. So these are these are the presets for Cardiel. A2 as the priority, otherwise he prioritizes the A3, and then second priority to be the A3. Torvo, like I said, A3 priority, uh, the first priority, A2 the second priority. Demetha, she like if you do like this, she can be full auto, but you still need to manual Cardiel. So she opens with the A1, priority A2, second priority A3. Seeker open with the A1. And Lydia nothing. So this is all that you care about. Now let's go and have a look at the builds and check the masteries. Obviously, it's it's a little bit gear intensive because we're talking, you know, end game stuff here, crazy ass builds and so on. The reason why I use this cardial because some people might be like, yeah, if I have a cardial, I'm not gonna use it for clan boss. He has three, so I was like, you know what? We can use one of the cardials for clan boss. So this is the cardial build. We obviously made him to be a uh, DPS one, so 70% crit rate because of his uh, A3. We do not need 100% crit rate. 237 crit damage, good attack. Obviously, this is the one that's really important. So it's not up 100% of the time, but it's more than 80% of the time we have the increase, uh, the increase uh, crit rate up. Plus, we also have the lasting gifts here on him that gives us another chance of extending the duration of those, those buffs. On this side, obviously, the standard damage, damage build. Then Lydia looking at the mastery, same same kind of build. With this build, honestly, Lydia can be used in, in other content. Maybe not Arena, because for Arena she needs specific stuff. But for Doom Tower, she's gonna be good as well because let me show you her speed. She needs to be 301, 301, 302 speed. The speed requirement is quite high. So honestly, having her at this speed, we got some crazy crit damage on her. Decent enough accuracy. She's gonna be good for Doom Tower, maybe even dungeons if he's gonna use her for dungeons. Torvald, we only have him in a Cruel set, like, you know, Cruel and Crit Damage, not the craziest, but still, we managed to pump out 6.7k attack, which is huge, and 265 Crit Damage, and his speed needs to be 186, which is not that high, and I didn't focus any accuracy, because we don't necessarily need him to land the weekend, because Lydia covers us with that always. Masteries for him, kind of same thing here. Damage, honestly, he had, I think he had these uh, these masteries uh, set before and I didn't want to reset them. Even though they're free, I was like, you know, just leave it like this, we can get the mastery ones. Because we do not benefit from deterrence as we don't take the stun or we rarely take the stun depending on how, how much is influenced. So I said, you know what? Just leave it like this and you know we go from there. We get some some help from Lord of Steel because we have the cruel, the speed and the crit damage. So that helps us at the end of the day. Uh, Demis again, pretty high speed, 297 speed, same 70% crit rate, everybody's gonna be 70% crit rate, decent attack, decent crit damage, and again, masteries for her are the standard offense and, you know, defense, the same thing. There was already, okay, I have no idea why we took Giant Slayer, like, I didn't, I didn't put it like this, I would prefer to get War Master, but... 
I guess I'm gonna leave her like this because he, he might want to change her and take her out and use her for something else. He might want to have different builds. But for Demetha, you're gonna take Warmaster. You take Giant Slayer, in my opinion, only when you have people that do triple or four hitter. Uh, like especially under default so like I don't know call hearts as examples if you want to use them but you wouldn't use them in clan boss I guess giant say the damage from her is not the craziest so I'm not gonna change so this is not influencing it that much however if like again if you want to min max it then yeah I would change it I would go over here with her and maybe some someone maybe I would even take lasting gifts to make those uh, buffs la uh, last longer on Torvald as well and then the last one, Seeker, which we actually wanted to put in a in a toxic set because we have the poison sensitivity from Lydia, but we do not have any poison. So I said, you know what, let's see what we can do in, in toxic. And we actually got a decent build for Seeker, 3.5k attack, 255 crit damage in toxic set, which is kind of huge. He needs to be 209 speed, accuracy, I didn't aim for it, it's what we got from the other things and again masteries for seeker again i did reset here but like i said the retribution or deterrence will rarely proc so it's it's no point to do it right now having a bit of accuracy maybe helps in other content for seeker to provoke on the a1 so it's it's sort of like you know didn't min max it and this is all we got so we, we just did these builds to be able to use other in other you know other areas imagine if you specifically min maxed every single champion just for this and got the best you know the, the everything left in there with the attacks and this one look i didn't even max this weapon i could get more attack and maybe get attack percent at the end but yeah at the end of the day this this is the team this is this is huge and the whole principle of this team is having the champions go three to one ratio uh, like these three champions, Cardiel, Demetha, and Lydia. Torvald only goes like, uh, Torvald, I think he goes like for uh, two times for every turn the clan boss uh, goes himself, but that's enough to do insane amount of, of damage. Like this, this team is insane and you know, I'm hoping one day I'm gonna get a Cardiel and I wanna test out to build this team on my account. Even if I'm gonna just do it once to get my max, you know, my my uh, my personal record for clan boss. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the day I'm gonna get the Cardiel. I already have Cardiel as an avatar because I'm an official content creator just looking to pull the champion. But this will be it for, for, for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this one's gonna help you out there if you wanna you know you might have these champions and you're thinking okay i have nothing to do with tarval what am, am i going to do with them build this crazy team and you know have fun with it so uh, i'm gonna leave it here for today guys see you in the next one peace love take care bye everyone